Hi girls. We're nearly five weeks through our beginners course now and the time has come for you to start asking those questions. What on earth happens at the end of the course? It's a question that's coming up quite often. Some of you I know are looking to push on and want to join our steady group runners and perhaps do a little bit more mileage. But lots and lots of you are starting to say, what happens? I'm not sure if I'm ready. I'm not sure if I want to join that group. And I like having the comfort of having a coach that knows my abilities and where my stronger and weaker points are. Um, and so I thought I'd just take this opportunity just to tell you what happens at the end of the beginner course. Cool, now I'm getting to a really muddy bit. Sorry, so a bit dodgy through here, just out walking Elmer. So at the end of your beginner course, at the end of the six weeks, you have an option to join our improvers course, if you like. That's another four weeks of having a dedicated coach who is there just for the people who want to be in the improvers group. Once you finish your beginners course, you become an SLJ member. That costs you £30 for the year. And then all your running tickets are slightly reduced in price. And you would take four of those running tickets and use one of them each week for the four weeks of improvers. The improvers group will start from the sort of distances you are at at the moment, um, possibly a little bit shorter if necessary, and slowly build you up your confidence from there. It doesn't mean we're going to do necessarily more mileage or that much faster, but just consolidate where you've got to now so you're feeling a little bit more comfortable about it, but with, as I say, a coach dedicated just for you. The improvers groups will be on Wednesday mornings at 9.15, Saturday mornings at 9.15 and Wednesday evenings at 7.30. So when you've been on a beginner's course, the improvers groups will be on the same times as those have been. Now, if there's anybody out there who would like to take advantage of these improvers groups, if perhaps you've been injured, you've been ill, you've been away for a while, um, and you'd still like to have a coach who's just taking things a little bit more gently for you, you're welcome to come and do these improver groups as well. But if we find you're too good for the improvers group, we will be bumping you off and saying, look, this isn't for you, this is not fair, it's driving the speeds up, when, which is something we're not well looking to do. So, at the end of your beginners course, if you want to come to the improvers groups, you can. If you want to go straight on and join the main groups, the steady or faster groups, you're welcome to do that too. And if you'd like to do a beginner's course again, then start from scratch, that's absolutely fine. Throughout the summer, we'll be doing one beginner course on a Wednesday evening at 7.30. I know that's not giving us nearly as many options as we will do in September or we did in April, but it's all we can actually reasonably handle um, throughout the summer months when coaches are on holiday, etc. And then in September, we'll start again with another selection of days and sessions if you wanted to wait and do it then. My advice to you is to try and keep things ticking over during the summer because it's very hard to start again in September. It takes about 12 weeks to build some kind of a habit and you're well on your way to doing that. So if you can, I wouldn't take a long break because then you'll have to start all over again. Anyway, the mud's gone. I'm on my way back from my walk. Hope that's uh, reassured you about what happens after the end of your course and I look forward to seeing you soon.